Hello STBians, welcome to the online class of STB. Today we will continue a chapter living things and non-living things. Today we will discuss about living things feel, living things reproduce, living things die and difference between animals and plants. Students, now our first point is living things feel if you prick your finger with a needle you feel pain if you touch something very hot you withdraw your hand at once if dust goes into your eyes they start watering because living things feel students Animals have sense organs by which they sense their surroundings and react. Animals have five sense organs, eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin. Insects have two feelers or antenna to feel or smell changes in their surroundings in plant plant do not have sense organs but they can feel changes around them some of flowers open up when they feel sun's warmth example sunflower we can take one more example touch me not plant the leaves of touch me not plant close when we touch them students you can try pricking a table with a needle or sprinkle some dust on the table there will be no reaction because non-living things do not feel students and next point is living things reproduce living things reproduce that is they produce new living things similar to themselves example cats give birth to babies called kittens birds lay egg from which baby birds come out trees produce seeds from which new tree grow some of you must have seen a young banana plant growing near the root of big ones new plants grow from roots stems bulbs or from other parts of a plant students non living things do not reproduce our next point is living things die living things do not live forever they live for different periods of time from a few weeks to around 5000 years however all animals and plants die after some time students now you know very well non living things do not move do not eat do not grow and do not multiply means they do not reproduce but they do not die because they do not have life chair a table or a stone doesn't die you have just learned what is living things can do and what non living things cannot do there are billions of living things on earth these include various kind of plant animals birds and insects living things need air water light warmth and food and our earth provides all these things 
other planets do not have living things such as the ones found on the earth so our next point is difference between animal and plants students you know animals and plants both are living things they both can move grow reproduce feel and die so how we can do difference between them so let's start animals animals move from one place to another in plants plants are fixed to the ground second point is animals move from one place to another place in search of food because they cannot make their own food plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis third point is animals breathe through nose lungs gills or air holes animals breathe through nose and lungs fish have gills through which they breathe butterfly and insects have tiny air holes in their bodies that help them to breathe in plant plant breathe through holes in the leaves called stomata fourth point is animals reproduce by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs in plants plants reproduce from seeds roots stems bulbs or other parts of the plant next point is animals have sense organs animals have five sense organs eyes nose ears tongue and skin in plants plants do not have sense organs other than the sense of touch in some cases the last point is animals stop growing on reaching their full size and in plants plants keep growing new branches and leaves all their leaves so students now it's time to recall each and everything things things divided into natural things and things made by human beings natural things again are of two kinds first living things second non living things living things include insects birds human beings plants and animals non living things include sun moon stars and so on things made by human beings are non living things example car bus table and so on